All right, so we've gotten back to our application. I do need to apologize in that last video. The audio went crazy after I opened up the emulator. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened there. I'm going to be keeping a closer eye on that, and hopefully that won't happen again. I do apologize, and uh, and hopefully we'll make sure that doesn't uh, become a problem in the future. So here we are. We're looking at our um, application we called it our super user app and we're again just trying to build a really basic really simple app that's we're going to push a button and it's going to run a super user command for us and uh, we talked about a couple of different scenarios of why that's important or why that might be useful and uh, hopefully you're following along for those reasons so the first thing I want to do is talk about a few of these files and the first file I want to talk about is this Android manifest what is it what does it do for you the manifest essentially declares everything that uh, that's going to be part of this app and what it's for and its intentions so just like uh, you've probably heard the word manifest used in political situations or something like that where it's declaring something this or like a manifesto where you're declaring something and you're making it known and this is what it's about and this is what it's for and this is its intention that's what this manifest file does for you so a couple of things in here. Notice that it has it holds the package name of the uh, of the app that you're building, which is really important. Uh, this is all set when we did that initial build when we created the app using Android Studio. So uh, what's really great is it did all the work for us, and uh, one of the reasons I really appreciate using Android Studio couple things in here so this application says hey this is the application that we're going to run um, and within that we have the icon we set the icon for the app what icon is going to be used and notice it has this at MIP map so if we look under our resources we see a MIP map folder and under this MIP map folder is IC Launcher and IC Launcher Round. And notice you have IC Launcher, and then you also have the round icon of IC Launcher Round. So when you see this at symbol, it means it's going to look in your resources and try to look for either a folder or file that has that name, and it's going to use that. So when it comes to our icon, there's several different ways we can do this, but uh, the way that this is done by default is you have this IC launcher and the IC launcher round, which accounts for both whether you have a square or a circle uh, theme on the phone, and it will use hopefully the appropriate icon to go with that. And so you can see if we open up this IC launcher uh, for HDPI, it's very low resolution, and then you have all the way up to triple X HDPI very high resolution so you set different resolutions for your icon based on what you want to have displayed at the different um, screen resolutions that are available out there so yes you could just make one icon that's going to be used for all screens but then it will get stretched or shrunk depending on what it needs to do for each different screen size and it may actually distort the image so typically um, you know developers will make an icon at each different resolution for that purpose we're going to look at uh, making an icon a little later and how we can add in something different but uh, I just want to point out that this is where the icon is declared this is also the label the app name. Now notice the app name is not the package name. So the package name is actually what Android references for what this package is. The app name is what you're going to see. This label is what's going to be displayed to you when you um, are thumbing through your app drawer on your phone and you see, oh, here's my RSU app application. And uh, so that is again an at string and rather than being a folder this time it's under um, resources under values you have the strings and you see app name RSU app and there's some other string in here that we're going to look at later but so this uh, label is declared in this string app name 
Now it might seem a little bit funny of why it's declared by writing this at string forward slash app name and then you have to go to the strings file to um, write it out here. You actually could just write it in here but one of the things that we'll talk about when we talk about strings a little later is about uh, different languages and how you can actually set it up to be translated to different languages. Again, we're building a very simple app, so we're not going to focus too much on that, but I just wanted you to be aware of that's how that works. And then we have this theme, and again it says this at style app theme, and we notice that we have a styles uh, file here, and it presents a couple of different things for us, and we're not going to spend too much time on this. Again, we're building a very basic app just for the purpose of making uh, a button that when we click it, it's going to run some super user command using root permission. Um, but we will be taking a look at a few of these styles as far as changing the, some of the colors and things as well. So I wanted to show you that. That's how that portion of the application works and then you have what's called the activity section of the manifest. So this is saying what is the first activity that I'm going to do when I open up this application what do I want to run? And it is going to run in this case main activity. And remember we de we left it the default of main activity. We could have named it anything we wanted. We could have named it Alaska Linux user activity or uh, the first activity or whatever the case may be. But it's going to run that activity first. And uh, it does have a few um, intents and that can be very difficult to uh, understand if you're relatively new to app development. But uh, just be aware that it's going to based on this intent of launcher it's going to actually just launch this main activity and uh, and that's what's going to happen when you open this application so hopefully that gives you a slightly better understanding of the Android manifest and how that works and hopefully that will be uh, useful as we go along uh, later through this series